Welcome to the presentation on Entrue Cryptography Solutions for NXP's ARM microcontrollers. In this presentation, you will learn about the cryptographic software solution developed by Entrue for use with NXP's ARM 7 LPC 2000 and ARM 9 LPC 3000 microcontrollers. We will discuss the requirements for encryption and the different solutions we provide, as well as comparing hardware encryption with software encryption. We will also examine the code sizes and throughputs of the different solutions. Let's begin. More and more applications require some form of encryption, even in low-cost embedded designs. Designers need to protect sensitive information, both inside their application and during transmission. With the Entrue cryptographic software, customers can achieve the following security benefits. Confidentiality. Both the sender and receiver are assured that the information being shared is not being intercepted by a third party. Authentication. The users want to make sure that the data stream is coming from a trusted source. Integrity. In addition to wanting to know the information came from a trusted source, the receiver also wants to make sure that the data was not corrupted or altered in transit. The software encryption from Entrue ensures that these security benefits are realized and that users of the LPC 2000 and LPC 3000 MCUs are protected. The cryptographic software from Entrue for NXP's microcontrollers allows users to achieve the benefits and features of encryption on even the smallest LPC 2000 microcontrollers through to the high performance LPC 3000 MCUs. By leveraging years of encryption expertise from Entrue, any user of NXP's ARM MCUs can add encryption and decryption of messages, dig digital signatures, and utility protocols like key negotiation in an inexpensive and flexible manner with a short time to market. Customers get the added flexibility of using the advanced communication peripherals of the LPC2000 family, features such as Ethernet, USB, I2C, SSP, all to add or update encryption software into installed applications to protect their IP. Since there are already microcontrollers on the market with hardware encryption, why should you consider a software solution? There are actually several good reasons for this. First, software encryption provides the benefits of flexibility, speed of implementation, and lower cost over time. With hardware encryption, the security cannot be changed or updated while with the application in the field without a costly hardware replacement program. With hardware, changing the encryption to new products may require a costly manufacturing change. With software encryption, on the other hand, changes can be made simply by installing new software algorithms. The NXP ARM microcontrollers feature in-application programming, otherwise known as IAP, which allows customers to update the security algorithm in the field remotely. Entrue's encryption algorithms allow the embedded designer to add functionality such as encryption, decryption, random number generation, digital signatures, and other utility protocols to achieve the benefits of confidentiality, authentication, and integrity that we discussed earlier. In addition to the benefits we've already discussed, there are several other benefits to software encryption versus hardware. Since software doesn't require any external components and runs on standard NXP ARM microcontrollers, this reduces your component costs. You also save money by reducing your design time, improving your reliability, and lowering your deployment costs. Software encryption can also reduce current consumption and increase battery lifetime because the software runs on the main processor, unlike a hardware coprocessor, which draws additional power. Finally, there are many government restrictions and controls on exporting microcontrollers with hardware encryption. These rules generally do not apply to software encryption until the MCU is programmed with that software. You should check with your local authorities on specific export rules, however. In addition to all of these benefits of software encryption, the performance of our software solution can match that of most hardware solutions, as we'll show later on in this presentation. The Entrue encryption suite is made up of several components. The customer can choose to use only the components that are needed for their application. These components are hash algorithms, symmetric encryption decryption, and asymmetric encryption decryption. Each of these will be discussed in the following slides. First, we will discuss hash algorithms. Hash algorithms provide a secure fingerprint of a message to ensure its authenticity. With a hash algorithm, 
you can efficiently generate a digital signature on any message, whatever length it is. The two types of hash algorithms supported by the Entry Encryption software are SHA-1, which are secure hash algorithms, and MD5, Message Digest. The Entrue cryptographic software also contains an implementation of the X982 random number generator. A random number generator is used to generate the keys for your cryptographic al algorithms. With a weak random number generator, an attacker could simply guess the key. Random number generators are also used inside many encryption schemes to mask a message. Doing this prevents an attacker from telling when one message is a repeat of a previous one. Good random number generators are very important in secure systems. The Entrue cryptographic software supports the X982 random number generator for secure random number generation. Next, we will discuss symmetric encryption, decryption, and authentication. Symmetric cryptography involves a single secret or symmetric key. Both the sender and the recipient must know this secret key. It is used by the sender to encrypt a message and by the recipient to decrypt it. Symmetric algorithms provide the benefits of confidentiality or integrity. Some modes of operation can even provide both of these benefits simultaneously. Symmetric algorithms are extremely efficient. This makes them the best choice for encrypting your data in transit or protecting your data from being modified or corrupted. The Entry cryptographic software supports two symmetric algorithms, AES, which is Advanced Encryption Standard, and TripleDES, Triple Data Encryption Standard. Whatever system you're building, it's very likely that you'll use a symmetric algorithm at the heart of your system to protect your data. The final main component in the Entry software encryption suite is the asymmetric algorithm. Asymmetric cryptography involves two mathematically related keys known as a key pair. A key pair consists of a private key and a public key. Only the owner knows the private key, which is typically kept in a secure key store. Anyone can know the public key, which is derived from the private key. Asymmetric algorithms provide the same benefits as symmetric algorithms, namely authentication, integrity, and confidentiality. The advantage of asymmetric cryptography is that two parties can get authentication, integrity, and confidentiality even if they've never communicated before, because the public key is public. The disadvantage is that asymmetric algorithms are bulky and slow compared to symmetric algorithms. So asymmetric algorithms are best suited to key management and digital signatures. In key management, the parties use an asymmetric algorithm to agree on a symmetric key. They can then use the asymmetric key to protect the bulk data. Asymmetric algorithms are also used in digital signature protocols, which let users validate their identity over a network. The digital signature works even for first-time users or between users that are unknown to each other, providing the benefit of authentication. Asymmetric algorithms in the Entry library include RSA, which provides key agreement and digital signatures, DSA, which provides digital signatures only, and Diffie-Hellman, which provides key agreement only. That concludes the overview of cryptography. Before we move on to the details of cryptographic libraries, let's take a moment to review how these libraries fit into an overall secure design. A secure design involves design choices at multiple levels. You have to choose a secure algorithm, such as one of the algorithms provided in the cryptographic libraries. You have to choose a secure protocol, a way of using the cryptography that protects against non-cryptographic attacks, such as replay attacks and you have to choose how to establish keys. If you're only using symmetric keys, you need to decide how the keys are exchanged. For example, they could be manually entered into your end device. If you're using a public key, you have to decide how the recipient knows that they've received a genuine public key. There are many subtle ways that a system can be compromised, and the correct solution will depend on your setting. So it's wise to work with experienced security professionals to ensure your system as a whole will live up to the security of the algorithm you choose. Now we can discuss the implementation of the software algorithms on the NXP microcontrollers. As we mentioned earlier, you may choose to purchase and implement only those algorithms that your application requires. To help in your decision-making process, 
We have listed the amount of flash that each algorithm requires on the LPC2000 ARM7 series. For example, the SHA-1 secure hash algorithm uses 2,164 bytes of flash, while the Diffie-Hellman asymmetric algorithm, listed in the table as DH, uses a little more than 5 kilobytes of flash. The LPC2000 microcontrollers have from 8K to 512K of on-chip zero-weight state flash. So these libraries can be implemented on any series member. The next two slides show the throughput for each algorithm. The throughput is shown for the algorithm running on an LPC2000 microcontroller at 60 MHz and is the only application running. For both hash and symmetric algorithms, the throughput is shown in kilobytes per second. As you can see from the data, the hash algorithm can process 2 to 3 megabytes per second, while symmetric algorithms process several hundred kilobytes per second. These are roughly equivalent to the performance you get with hardware encryption. Uh, to clarify what is in the table, CBC is short for cipher block chaining. ECB means electronic codebook. CTR stands for counter mode, CT stands for ciphertext, and AD is associated data. As in the previous slide, these tables show the throughput of an algorithm on the LPC2000 microcontroller running at 60 MHz. However, in this table, the throughput is shown as a time for a single operation, not as a data rate. This is because in most cases you will only perform a single asymmetric operation on any message no matter what the size of the message. The throughputs are shown for different size keys. And as you can see, the larger the key, the longer the time. For example, RSA with a 1024 key encryption takes 0 0.01 second, whereas RSA 2048 encryption takes 0 0.05. The larger the key, the longer it takes. These times will also increase if the controller is running some user code simultaneously. This data is shown if the algorithm is running on its own. So who is Entru? Entru is a market leader providing comprehensive security products and services to businesses that wish to leverage the power of embedded security technologies. Entru's trusted computing and embedded security product suites are preferred by industry leaders in technology, consumer goods, and telecommunication markets. The continued development of strategic partnerships with industry-leading software and hardware companies enables Entru to provide innovative security solutions to the PC, wireless, and anti-counterfeiting marketplace. They are headquartered in Acton, Mass. in the United States. You can check out their website at www.entru.com. We'll now move on to some frequently asked questions. First question, how much do the software algorithms cost? The pricing depends on a number of factors, such as the number of algorithms you'll be purchasing, the number of units you are going to install it into, and other factors. In general, the cost of a single hash algorithm is less than five US dollar cents per unit, and the entire library is less than 20 US dollar cents per unit. Are there licensing fees? If so, how much are they? There is an evaluation license fee that is paid to Entru. If you then decide to purchase a production license, which costs a few thousand dollars, then the evaluation license fee is applied toward that cost. Do I purchase the software from Entru or from NXP? The software and licensing fees are all paid directly to Entru. How do I purchase the software? The software can be ordered through the Entru website www.entru.com. How do I get support on the encryption software? Support will come from Entru. There will be a support area on the website and email support will be available for licensed customers. Please contact Entru for more details. Am I able to run my application code while the encryption software is running? Yes, but the throughput will decrease. The table shown earlier shows the throughput in kilobytes per second or seconds if it is the only application running. If you begin running user code at the same time then the time to execute the encryption library will increase although the amount of time that it increased depends on the user code you are running. May I use the Entru software with microcontrollers other than NXP? 
No, the software is licensed only to be used with NXP's ARM microcontrollers. Is this encryption software unbreakable? The goal of encryption is to make compromising it too expensive or time-consuming to justify the effort. Since this encryption is meant for low-cost embedded applications, it should provide protection to meet most customers' needs and is at the same level as hardware encryption in standard microcontrollers. Please discuss the, your concerns with Entrue to make sure that you are putting the adequate protection in place. This concludes our presentation on Entrue's encryption software for NXP's LPC2000 and LPC3000 ARM microcontrollers. We hope you found the information helpful and informative. This brings us to the end of the NXP encryption overview presentation. Please leave your feedback and any suggestions that you might have in the comment box. Your inputs will help us improve the training experience in LPC Zone. We're adding new training videos all the time at www.nxp.com slash lpczone. So we encourage you to register and we'll send you an update when new videos get uploaded. Thanks for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you again.